was not saving the Apollo 13 astronauts ever considered as an option. This is a bit of a morbid question, but every source I have checked makes it seem like the moment Apollo 13 had their accident and everyone understood the gravity of the situation, everyone was in agreement that the astronauts had to return to Earth alive no matter the cost. No one talked about continuing the mission and having them die on the moon, or abandoning the mission and letting them die in space. Obviously such a decision would have been extremely controversial and might have even meant the end of manned spaceflight in the years after, but was it ever considered as an option to just let the astronauts die and continue on? Or is that a thought that would never even be uttered in the company culture NASA had at the time, and still has? No one talked about continuing the mission and having them die on the moon, or abandoning the mission and letting them die in space. There had already been two successful moon landings at this point, and further landings planned and scheduled. There was no particular reason that this mission had to land, and the culture of NASA at the time was such that any single mission wasn't worth taking excessive risks, let alone mathematically certain death. Even on the politically critical first landing, Apollo 11, no one would have considered certain death for the crew to be worth landing. According to Dickie Slayton's autobiography, NASA Administrator Tom Paine explicitly told Neil Armstrong that if the mission had to be aborted for safety reasons, he would recycle the same crew for the next mission, the message being, don't do something stupid just to be the first. It also might not have been possible to land on the moon after the accident, the service module's engine was likely damaged, and the LM didn't have enough fuel to both insert into lunar orbit and descend to the lunar surface. As for letting them die in space without making any attempt to save them, this would be even more pointless. Deaths of astronauts in space would risk the remainder of the program being cancelled. The extra measures taken to bring the Apollo 13 crew home safely only cost, I would estimate, a couple of days worth of overtime pay for a couple of hundred staffers, if even that, the mission as a whole, and thus the costs of monitoring the mission, was shortened by a couple of days, not pocket change, but quite a small investment relative to the total scale of the project. In exchange they saved not only three lives, but they probably saved at least two of the remaining four landing missions from being cancelled. According to Gene Krantz, the famous failure is not an option line from the film Apollo 13 was, while not a verbatim quote, reflective of the attitude of the staff in mission control. The script writers, Al Reinhardt and Bill Broyles, came down to Clear Lake to interview me. One of their questions was, weren't there times when everybody, or at least a few people, just panicked? My answer was, no. When bad things happened, we just calmly laid out all the options, and failure was not one of them. Dot. We never panicked, and we never gave up on finding a solution. I can't say that no one working for NASA ever considered shrugging their shoulders and saying, oh well, guess they'll die, but the idea of it is completely nonsensical to me. With three men risking their lives for the mission, working long hours for four days or so to try and save them doesn't seem like a lot to ask.